John chapter 9, the religious authorities excommunicate a man who is born blind, whom Jesus heals. Ironically, this man's amazing healing leads to his excommunication. How did this happen? In healing a man born blind, Jesus has performed a creative miracle. This is something only God can do. This should have been a day of wonder and rejoicing. But instead, it becomes an occasion for the hard-hearted religious authorities to hate and persecute Jesus even more. Now, they go even farther. They excommunicate a man who has experienced an amazing, merciful miracle. Remember that in John 10, the religious Jews had taken up stones to stone Jesus. Jesus had asked them, Many good works I've shown you from my Father. For which one of these good works do you stone me? And they answered Jesus, Not for any good work are we stoning you, but for blasphemy, and because you, being a man, make yourself God. Again, this is ironic, because even though Jesus is a man, yet he has performed the very works of God. Therefore, the people have blinded themselves to recognizing who Jesus is by willfully ignoring the amazing miracles that Jesus has performed in their sight in the name of his Father. Jesus therefore tells these religious authorities in John chapter 9, For judgment I have come into this world, that those who do not see may see, and that those who see may become blind. Now this is a play on words that Jesus is making. It's really a riddle. When the indignant authorities ask Jesus, are you suggesting that we are blind? Jesus answers them again in a riddle. If you were blind, you would have no sin. But since you claim to see, therefore your sin remains. In other words, Jesus is telling them, if you would admit your spiritual blindness and ignorance, there would be some hope for you. But since you claim to spiritually see, you blind yourselves by your spiritual conceit and ignorance. If we are therefore to recognize and understand who Jesus is rightly, we must therefore humble ourselves and admit our spiritual poverty and spiritual blindness. Only then can the Son of God remove our blindness and open our spiritual eyes to recognize and understand who He is and what He says.